boom, functions in TypeScript. If you guys saw the previous tutorial video, Hello World, by now you guys know how to do a console log and you guys also know a little bit of nuance about the different data types or primitive data types in TypeScript. So if you haven't seen that, you might wanna go watch that real quick, it'll be handy. But if you already know enough about programming to know the difference between basic primitive data types, then you should be just fine. Just like every other programming language, TypeScript has specific syntax for typing function parameters and return values. And similarly to JavaScript, there is a keyword that you need to type in order to create a function in TypeScript. And it happens to be the exact same keyword in TypeScript that it is in JavaScript. So let's now show an example of creating a function in TypeScript that has a basic return type of the type number. So we'll type the function keyword and that's just function. And we want this function to just return a number, let's say a magic number. So we'll call it get magic number. Some nice camel case names right there. All right, next you guys, need the open close params. So far, we have function keyword, we have a name of the function, we have our open close params. And at this point, it doesn't look any different than a JavaScript function declaration, right? But being TypeScript, and the fact that TypeScript is more strictly typed than JavaScript, not just strictly typed, but strictly many things. We wanna specify what type of value is going to be actually returned by the function. And in this case, the difference between here and a JavaScript function is we're gonna add colon, and then we're going to say, or rather type out, the type of the value that's gonna be returned. And like I said, guys, we're doing a number, right? So we'll just say number. Open, close, curly braces, and boom. We have our function declaration and our function header. Now notice here, we have a warning, and the warning is telling us a function whose declared type is neither undefined, void, nor any must return a value. And it's basically just telling us this like, hey, we have a function that's supposed to be returning something, and it's not returning anything. So so let's return a number. So we'll type return 99. There you go. Now we know how to do a function with a return type. And we can console log this. Let's call that get magic number function inside of our console log. Once we compile this guy, when we run it, we should get 99 printed in the console. So now let's type a function with a void return type. And just like every other programming language that can do this, which is pretty much all of them, the type void can be used to indicate that a function doesn't return any value. So if you just need to do a function that's not gonna return anything, we'll do function keyword. Let's just say we want this function to just print the word hello in the command line. We'll call it print hello. There's our colon. And in this case, we wanna actually explicitly type out void and there you go now we have our void return type function declaration and let's actually make it do something so let's say inside of here it's going to do a console log and it's going to print out hello now, the last thing i want to show you guys is how to create a function in typescript with parameters so same thing as all the other function declarations we're going to have the function keyword and let's just call this function multiply and we'll give it two numbers and we will want to return the value of those two numbers multiplied together so in this case inside the open close params here just like other programming languages we want to put our or parameters that are going to be passed into this function. And if we're going to use this function to multiply two numbers as well, we're definitely going to want to pass this function two different numbers. So I'll say X is going to be one number that we're going to pass in here and Y is going to be another number. X colon number, Y colon number. So now the compiler is going to know, okay, the first parameter that we're calling X is going to be of type number and the second parameter we're calling y is gonna be a type number. And in this case, we don't even necessarily need to specifically say, hey, it's gonna return a number, although you probably should do this. However, we can just in here say return x times y, and this function will indeed return a number data type. And it'll work like this, but let's say you were dealing with some kind of math that was gonna be way more complicated than just returning two numbers, and the rest of your code base is very complicated and not just three functions that do pretty much nothing, then you should probably go ahead and declare that this is going to return a type number because you're likely to run into some kind of issues later on. Let's go ahead and test this function out. So we'll throw that in the console log and we'll call the multiply function and we'll pass it to comma two. So what this should do is it should activate that multiply function. Two is going to represent the X here. And then the second parameter Y is also going to be two. And this should return two times two, which is four. Let's compile it. Let's run it. And there you go. Four. You can also create functions with optional parameters. I'm not going to get into that in this video. Hope that was helpful. I'm out. See ya. Thank you.